Shalom Yisrael, and the staff is always by giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem El Shai. The Lord is supposed to GMS and honesty, brothers are doing the work in truth, or sincerity. I'm just going to do a quick one now, if the spirit wills. Um, says, uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard by now, there's the shooting of a couple of police officers over there in Dallas. Um, the one bit of information I came across, which was the most telling was this is basically says black power organization claims dallas shooting the first thing that came into my mind is who who else claims stuff right um you know the, the likes of isis uh al-qaeda this that, and the other all the fake um cia you know created groups there are the ones that you know usually claim so, so what are they trying to do they're trying to broaden you know the description of a terrorist uh, more or less, I'm surprised the T word has not been thrown around uh, today, but it, it will very soon. Um, you know, I kid you not. Uh, and a few weeks back here in England, also you had, uh, you know, the, the the white supremacists who killed an uh, killed an MP, right? So you can see, you know, Esau's going to start coming down hard real quick. So it says Ezekiel 21 and 8 it says again. The word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is also sharpened to make a sore slaughter. Right? And, you know, Esau's going to start killing a lot of you jakes, man. You know, I can just imagine at the next, uh, uh, what would you call it? If in fact, there was another good article on this, and I'd, I, I don't have it anymore. But basically, it was... Um, yeah, and no, I can't find it. Basically, something to the effect of one of the old senators over there, or whatever his position was, was basically saying that we have to, you know, defend our cops. So you can imagine the situation at the next Black Lives Matter bullshit protest that, you know, you're going to get some white supremacists there, and, you know, there you get the race rights, right? And, um, and just on that note, there's Isaiah 13. Uh, Chase right. So Isaiah thirteen and fourteen it says, And it shall be as the chase rope, and as sheep that no man taketh up, that ev that they shall every man turn to his own people, right? So this whole intermingling, this whole, you know, racial intermingling is gonna found out to be, you know, a, a lie and that it doesn't actually work and everyone's gonna turn to their own um people. Why? Because you know, people are gonna start uh realizing, you know, you're the enemy, man, and it says, uh, verse 15 says, And everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Right? It says, Revelations 12 and 12 says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to ye inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he hath but a short time. It's the same wrath we're talking about in, the, in Ezekiel. You know, he's going to start killing a lot of jakes out here. You know, but really and true, that's just a fulfilled prophecy. Because a lot of our people are, are fucking wicked, man. A lot of our people are wicked. Right, but in terms of Esau, because we know exactly what this is. We know this was a false flag. Um, so it says, Micah 2 and says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Right, it says woe means destruction, and what what does it mean by uh, to them that devise iniquity? This was a you know they're basically trying to uh, create a situation, you know, rile up that racial hatred, that racial tension, so that they can at the end of it, you know, hit the world with uh their new, it basically bring out their new world order, right? And then you're going to be having loads of protests, you know, Edomites and Jake. Or holding hands, you know, Jake with the Edomite cops or holding hands. I'm like, you know, I can, I can assure you that's going to happen. You know, everyone's saying peace, 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 right? Uh, it says Psalm 55 and 21 says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So he will say all the nice words to you. They'll say, We're together, we're one. You know, it ain't fair that the cops are, are killing you, this, that, and the other. Um, you know, black lives do matter. They'll be saying all that shit to you, you know, and especially these elites, man. Well, not so much the elites, but the lower levels will be coming along trying to say, you know, integration this, integration that. We can all be happy, but they know what's going on. They know that a lot of you jakes are going to get killed too, right? It says Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 12 and 10, says, Never trust thine enemy, for as I, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. And I like this one because no matter what you do to iron, 
all right if you just have pure iron it will rust you can clean it you can polish it just like that right now Esau Esau looks like a good man you know you, you know he kind of has made everyone forget about slavery more or less and he, he goes around like an upstanding citizen but rewind 20 not not 20 but rewind a few uh decades ago and you have you know you had jakes in just hardcore bondage man being lynched off the trees i'm not saying it's any better now because the way what he does just gives you you know drugs that kill you he poisons the food you know he does all kind of manner of wickedness um you know to kill you and that so you know so with that you know that's, that's the last one I, I wanted to bring out it says never trust an enemy all right um but yeah back on this police shooting man you know brothers brothers are rejoicing at this because it just shows that we are getting ever ever closer to how shah's return because these things are, you know are prophesied the scriptures say you shall be brought before kings you know and basically you know referring to us men out here doing the truth you know we're going to be brought and we're going to be trial this that, and the other um because because of the of this thing that we're in and this is just another wet step forward to that right we know there was there's going to be race rights in the end and this is another step towards that right so you know on that i'm just going to say shalom